Hi, good afternoon. Hello and welcome to Your Stocks. I'm Samara Abdi and with me is Nigel D'Souza. Well, for the market, it's uh, quite a topsy-turvy afternoon actually. So we had seen a bit of a recovery uh, closer to noon and now the market has given up gains to actually trend almost flattish. We're below that 79.50 mark on the Nifty. Uh, a lot of pressure is coming in from the auto stocks. Remember, all the auto sales have begun trickling in uh, today and uh, most of the stocks actually under pressure because of the sub -bar numbers that have been coming in. Uh, also, the bank nifty has actually given up about 130 points from the top. So look at that. That would be weighing on the index as well. And that is virtually at the lows of trade right now. So apart from that, there's also, uh, I think, capital goods, which is not doing well. IT stocks are not doing well. So across the board, there seems to be some bit of pressure that's developing. Even the mid cap index, which at one point was trending about eight tenths of a percent higher, almost a percent actually also, uh, that too has almost halved its gain. So now still outperforming the frontliners, but not by nearly as much. Hi, mm. Nigel. That's right, Samara. If you just take a look at it, you're talking about auto sales numbers. Just pull up Tata Motors. In the last half hour, that stock has come in for profit booking. So Tata Motors, both the DVR as well as the stock, should be up for you in the screen. It's not looking too good. It's moved to the low point of the day. Pull up uh, the DVR as well. You'll see that that one as well has suddenly slipped. MRF as well. I think I saw a big jerk over there as well. So just pull up MRF. You'll see that that one is struggling in the last uh, half hour. Or it's uh, saw a big dip and then, in fact, it's trying to fight its way back so watch out for MRF Jubilant Foodworks as well that one did take a bit of a knock in the last uh, 20 minutes approximately and PTC is the other stock that I was looking at that one as well did see a bit of a knock so just watch out for some of these stocks yes it is a, 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 a select uh, stock market but in fact if you just take a look at it some of these stocks are coming for a back by the way JSW Steel has been defying all odds today in fact it's higher by close around four and a half percent it moved to the high point of the day while Tata Chemicals as well looking quite good as we speak and that's why we have some winners in the mid cap space that's why we're seeing that in fact the mid cap index is doing a relative outperformance while the nifty is as flat as can be Samara. All right so let's get started then and invite our two experts who can answer the query sent in by our viewers. We have Ashish Kyal of wavestrategy.com uh, who joins in and also Mayure Shoshi of Angel Broking. So gentlemen good afternoon to both of you and thanks very much for joining in. Our first caller is Ajay Ahmad, who's online with us from Srinagar. Hi, Ajaz. Uh, we can help you. Yes, Madam. I had a capital in the year in 620 shares. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to order it from 288 to 288. I'll give you a year and I'll give you a year. Will it come back or I'll give it to you? Okay. And besides, do you have any stocks in your portfolio? जी हाँ इसमें से लाव है मेरा पास रिलायंस इन्फ्रा है ओके वो भी मैंने ऊपर के थे 700 में लिया था सो शेयर और बाकी छोटे-छोटे शेयर बहुत सारे हैं तो फलाम मिली इसका चाहिए सर ओह ओके आशीष व्हाट्स योर एडवाइस फॉर एजाज ही सेस ही डजन्ट माइंड रिमेनिंग इन्वेस्टर इन दिस फॉर द नेक्स्ट वन वन एंड हाफ इयर्स Sure. Look, they bought the stock at the top of the stock. Reliance Capital has made the stock of high, about 600 in the last year. After that, the trend is down and down. So, the idea is that they can stay for a while. There is a bounce back in the last year, about 250 in the level. So, there is a little recovery from here, but the cost of the stock is now coming immediately. There is a little consolidation here, and that's why they have to give time to them. एक साल से दो साल की अवधि से होल्ड करना चाहिए और नीचे में एक स्टॉप के साथ ही काम करना चाहिए जब भी ये निवेश करें एक स्टॉप लॉस लगा के करें और नीचे में फिलहाल एक स्टॉप के साथ काम करना चाहिए जो करीबन 360 का है अगर वो आंकड़ा ब्रेक होता है तो वहाँ से एक्सिट कर जाइए एंड फिलहाल अभी होल्ड करके रखिए और कोई भी अगर मैं ऊपर पुल बैक मिलता है साढ़े पाँच के आसपास तो वहाँ पर डेफिनेटली लॉस बुक करके निकल जाना चाहिए all right then, so that's some advice uh, that's coming in there. But just pull up Spice Share. I think that one suddenly fell a little nervous in the last few minutes. I think it's moved to the low point of the day. Just pull up Spice Share. It was holding in the green just around 10 minutes ago and suddenly that one is coming for a bit of a knock. Currently, it seems some profit booking. So watch out for that stock. But uh, let's go to our next query then. We have Sudeen Bhatija who calls us uh, from Bengaluru. He has a stock query. Hi Sudeen, good afternoon. How can we help you? Yeah, hi, good afternoon. See, I want to know about HDFC. The stock has been uh, uh, doing in the range of 100 rupees in the last one month. That's right. 
Now I want to add some more on uh, decline because I've got some at around but twelve hundred. Okay. I just like to know, you know, because the last quarter growth was I think slightly disappointing. That's why the stock has been drained. All right. So, what is the uh, view, fundamental and technical view from the next one to three years? I can add on declines. All right. Uh, so then, uh, if uh, you're looking at a blue chip uh, stock, so let's get straight. Uh, let's get a fundamental view first. Uh, Mayuresh, what's your take on HDFC? He's got a few at around to twelve hundred odd. He wants to add, and he's willing to sit in there for around three to five years at least. Afternoon, Nigel. Clearly, I think at that time horizon, any decline onto the stock, maybe around that eleven hundred mark, can be a good uh, uh, averaging opportunity. Yes, I think the numbers did disappoint in terms of how the loan growth came through. The individual growth uh, was around seventeen percent. The corporate growth is something that disappointed the street. So spreads are largely in line at two point three three percent. The margins at three point nine five percent. What a tad disappointing because I think the yield on the investments probably uh, did not offset the cost of uh, the fall in the cost of funds. So clearly, I think when you're talking about the long term story. We still believe an NI growth of uh, 11 to 12 percent coming through. We expect advanced growth of 15 percent. And clearly, if you are just for the value of subsidies, specifically in the case of HDFC, that um, tantamount is close to around 480 to 100 rupees. So clearly, if you look at a price to adjusted book at 4.5 times, looks a tad bit expensive. But again, the premium valuation probably stays with HDFC. So again, at 1100, 1050 uh, odd kind of levels, one can accumulate and hold on for three to five years. Alternatively, I think LIC housing uh, at the current level all declines looks extremely code over the next year's time frame. Our take is cost of funds have gone down substantially for LIC housing close to that 9.29% mark. The spreads have been quite decent. The margin expansion at 2.56% with advances on the individual side which contribute almost 97% of the top line growing at 18%. So our own take is uh, advances growing to the tune of 18.5% which will lead to earnings growth of 20-20.5%. And even at the current juncture at 2.3-2.4 times price to adjusted book, the stock looks uh, quite attractively placed compared to HDFC at the current juncture. So alternatively, LIC housing can be also looked at with a year's uh, time frame for a target of 571. All right, so Dean, so that's the advice for you. I hope you were listening in to that. Uh, our expert feels that if you do want to remain invested, you'll have to take a real, real long-term view. Um, alternatively, you can look at LIC Housing, where he sees a target of 571. Up next, Mohan Kumar PG has written to us from Ahmedabad. He says he has 200 shares in Aurobindo Pharma, which he has bought at about 1,500. So he's actually making quite a sizable loss over there, almost about uh, you know a lakh and quarter, and now wants to know if he should remain invested or not. So we don't have any details. Okay, his time horizon, he says, is about six months. Ashish, what's your take for the next six months? Are pharma stocks looking good? And what about Oro Pharma in particular for someone who's making such a big loss? Uh, what's the advice? Uh, see, I would uh, suggest uh, him to hold on to the pharma stock for now. Uh, in 2014 uh, and uh, to early 2015, we have witnessed some uh, dream runs in the pharma stocks and it has been a huge, huge uh, gains that we expected. However, going forward, I do not think such kind of uh, strong uh, momentum is going to regenerate in these pharma stocks. But for now, uh, the, the long-term trend is still intact. So I would suggest him to hold on to these uh, positions and uh, use a stop loss of uh, 6 180 on downside and uh, the stock has managed to uh, stay in a sideways range even when nifty corrected so there is some kind of an outperformance we are seeing here and uh, we, uh, this can continue on upside if it manages to cross 900 and uh, sustains above it then uh, i think there can be a huge uh, move on upside so hold on to the stock uh, with uh, the stop loss of uh, around 680 690 levels all right, then. Uh, so that's the call uh, coming in on that particular counter. By the way, Auto Pharma gets US FDA nod for Resil Donate uh, Sodium Tablet. So that stock, in fact, is spiking up as we speak uh, as well. But just pull up JSPL. I think that one as well has suddenly spiked up in the last few minutes. We're talking about JSW Steel. JSPL as well has suddenly moved up. Remember, in uh, this month itself, that's in the month of December, we're likely to get the outcome in terms of what go happens to those coal blocks that they had burned, then it was cancelled. Will they get to rebid? That verdict's likely to be out uh, this month itself. So maybe, in fact, the street is uh, trying to uh, factor in a positive outcome. Watch out for that stock. It's currently moved to the high point of the day. But slip into a short break. Come back. We'll focus on the markets. We'll answer all your queries as well. Stay tuned.
then the nifty's move back into the green uh, so just watch out on that front and you have asian paints as well that's doing quite well so just pull up asian paints you'll see that that stock has spiked up in the last few minutes from the broader markets we're talking about jspl pull up crompton greaves now suddenly that uh, stock has gained close to around a percent and a half in the last few minutes we're getting some news uh, in there that nppa fixes uh, the retail price of 247 new drugs maybe we'll get ekta into fill us in with regard to this that could be a bit of a negative uh, for domestic pharma companies so watch out on that front uh, as well uh, we'll get try to get ekta and she'll give us the latest in terms of that but prime facey that should be a, ta a bit of a negative for the pharma sector on the whole but uh, let's get to our next caller we have hardik shah who calls us from gujarat he has investments oops in uh, tree house education hi hardik good afternoon how can we help you yeah hello good afternoon sir how can we help you sir i have bought a tree house mm -hmm. and it's on a yeah actually it's in a circuit yesterday right I agree. In the last couple of days, it's been in uh, in lower circuit, yeah, but but today it's in upper circuit. Though from your buy price, I think it's a fair way off. Yeah, it's one sixty one right now. Correct. If I'm not wrong. Correct. One sixty seven approximately. Uh, yeah, one sixty seven, and that. So I just want to take an uh, review of yours. That right. what I what I have to do. I have to hold. Right. All right. Uh, you know, Hardik, it's not been one of the best stocks to get into because uh, suddenly in the last one week or ten days, the stock has fallen close to around a hundred bucks odd. But let's find out whether or not you should hang into the stock, or maybe in fact you should uh, do a bit of a switch. Uh, Mayuresh, let's come across to you. Stock has been moving all round. We had the management on the channel yesterday as well. He says nothing's really going wrong, etc. Today the stock is in upper circuit, but we know it started off close to around eight percent low. It's recovered more than twenty percent from the low point of the day. Should he hang in there? It's good hundred bucks off his buy price. So do you think? He should just cut his losses or maybe lighten his position. So clearly, Nigel, I think if you look at uh, the financial performance, the financial performance has been quite reasonable. So, and if you look at the management commentary itself, uh, in terms of their expansion, both in terms of preschools, they've almost got 720 odd uh, branches, uh, both through their own and the franchisee network. If you look at uh, the additions expected of around 120, 150 odd schools, specifically in the Delhi and NCR region, to top that up, you're talking about DK centers added out to around 190 odd. So, if you're clearly talking about the business model, the asset light model that they're probably trying to pursue, even on uh, the K12 initiatives, they've got five centers. Their own, they've actually monetized one to the tune of 17 crores uh, at Vadodara, and they're actually looking at monetizing land and buildings to the tune of 52.5 odd crores again. Again, the QIP that they've raised would reduce uh, debt was a substantial bit. So, clearly, I think the earnings would probably come through, but again, I think the balance sheet concerns is what plagued the stock. So, clearly, he has to have an extreme long term view of more than two to three years probably to probably see his cost price come through. As an alternative, again, I think uh, what I'd suggest within the space itself is a stock like MT Educare. Uh, clearly, I think within the coaching uh, uh, industry itself and Bombay accounting for almost 80% of the regional revenues for MTRD care. Our own take is the kind of presence that they're probably looking at in terms of diversifying the uh, Mumbai centric rigs is going to be quite evident over the next two to three years. Clearly, I think the other projects that they're looking at, Laksha, the pre un types that they've got uh, with something like a G. Shri Gayatri Education Society, I think that will take the earnings up. And the government initiative itself on the education sector, I think that's going to be a big booster uh, for a lot of stocks, including MTRD care. So we expect 27% top line growth, 20% bottom line growth, and even on the valuation front, uh, it is not looking that expensive. So, as an alternative, I think you can look at MT Educare on declines for a target of 170 over the next 12 months. Okay. Uh I think that's the advice for you that uh, your buy price of 265 well it's very very far away right now in treehouse education my rage though recommends that you look at a uh, book out of this and look at something like an empty educare where the target that he's uh, expecting is 170 thanks very much for calling let's take another quick break but as we do that we also leave you with some wealth creating ideas from our market while as sp tulsin and prakash divan Top line 15,000 crore in auto ancillary. They are all strong entry barrier kind of projects. Then this is a this is a holding company. They are holding stakes in all their this one 36% in Castec technology, 49% in metalist forging, 67% in JMT auto. Each one of them have their significant presence in each product. The monetization happens in six months, nine months, twelve months, but it will happen. So I won't be surprised to see a price of hundred rupees in one year, but I am expecting it to move to sixty-two, maybe. 50% return in next six months or so. Last quarter they've seen a 65% plus jump in the bottom line. So they've kicked off operating leverage. The sales is only 12% up, 
the bottom line is 65 percent up. So if that continues, and it's a very good management, very strong conservative management, they've got plants spread out over Gujarat, TN, Andhra Pradesh, Goa, Maharashtra, and one in Sharjah. You know, so it's well diversified. Doesn't need capital to grow incrementally. So I think the stock has to get re-rated from here. Uh, my target for 390 from the current levels is just about six months. It's not even beyond two quarters. Welcome back here with your stock. Some bit of recovery coming into the market now. So we're back above that 79.50 odd mark. And look at some of these uh, commodity names that are moving higher. So Vedanta has gained about a percent in the last uh, few minutes odd. Likewise, with something like a Hindalco as well. In fact, they're the top uh, uh, movers right now actually on uh, the Nifty. But uh, let's get back to answering the query sent in by our viewers. Uh, Dilip Mirashi has called in from Mumbai with a query on Suzlon. Hi, Dilip. How can we help you? Yeah, hi. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I am holding uh, Suzlon Energy 1000 shares hmm. at average uh, price of uh, 23.95 okay. uh, last uh, one month. So I would like to know, uh, should I uh, am ready to uh, hold this uh, stock for next uh, one hour, hmm. one year. Uh, so I would like to have advice whether should I go uh, with this stock or should I switch over to some other PR uh, in this uh, sector. Okay, uh, Mayurish, let me come to you um, on this question actually because for the longest time that I can remember, I, I don't think you've had a positive view on Suzlon, uh, but uh, I believe now there are uh, times are changing. Yeah, is it a good advice now to remain invested in Suzlon and what's brought about this change? Is it just the strong hands of the company now? So clearly, I think uh, whatever the company has done so well uh, with uh, the debt reduction, the sale of Sanyuan and so on and so forth, the debt which uh, stood at around 15,000 odd crores, which was clearly paying havoc in terms of finance charges and uh, the bit of losses that Suzlan was posting, I think that business uh, sell-off has taken the debt back to those levels of around 7,000 odd crores as of June 2015. Having said that, I think if you compare that with its peer as the investor was also wanting to know, something like an Inox win, the order books are quite similar. So Suzlan's order book is close to that 1.1, 1.2 gigabyte kind of a status, whereas Inox Wind has got a similar order book. Again, in terms of uh, pure stacking of numbers, I think Inox Wind's numbers are much more profitable because of the order wins that they've got and the expected order wins that they have got under their acquisition of close to 5 gigawatt. So clearly, I think Suzlan's fortunes are changing. I think you've seen probably that the operating level, it's already seen some massive improvement happening. You've also got some promoted infusion happening in the form of the lip sangui. So the next two to three years with government reforms coming through, the accelerated depreciation norms that the government has introduced last year year that is going to have a beneficial impact in terms of uh, core numbers stacking out so yes i think from a year's perspective you can hold on to suzlon but clearly i think inox wind is this something that we're lacking from a returns perspective so what we clearly feel with increasing order book the capex planks already done at its plant in madhya pradesh royalty out of the books the margin expansion should be quite evident and inox again is a profitable business within the end uh, wind energy segment so clearly i think inox wind at a target of 500 500 next 12 months but you can clearly hold on to suzlon as well over the next one all right, uh, then let's uh, get an Ashish's view as well. Ashish, how is it looking in the charts? Uh, see, Suzlon has uh, shown uh, some sharp move from the levels of near around 7 to 35 and post that it has been consolidating for almost uh, many months now. So I would suggest that he can hold on to this stock. Uh, this uh, consolidation can give a positive breakout on upside uh, uh, with a very, very uh, crucial support level lying near uh, 17. So uh, as long as 17 is intact, he can uh, hold on to this stock and any move about 28, 29 levels uh, can result into a very, very sharp uh, upside. Uh, trend. So uh, the the stock is looking good. Uh, this can be the third wave on upside, but uh, the confirmation, as I said, is going to be obtained only once it breaks about 28-29 odd levels. Okay, Dilip, hope that advice works for you. Ashish, Mayuresh, thanks very much for joining in and advising our viewers. We need to wrap up on your stock. Stay tuned. Closing bell comes up next.